What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. <clears throat> welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, cut through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. I love you guys so much. Um, if you'd like to donate to High Priestess Profile, the link's in the description box below. And personal readings, um, I have some slots open if you're interested. The link's in the description box below. And, um, yeah, I love you guys. I received another channeling. I'm about to go to bed. I was out there walking, but, um, you know, I didn't do five miles tonight. I did, like, three, but it was awesome. But, anyways, I received a download while I was down there, so I'm going to deliver it. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, uh, someone's neighbor is uh, seeing how things turned out from the past and they're very angry um, because they realized there was huge corruption um, and um, huge, um, huge taking advantage of, of their former neighbor in the past. I heard they really liked this neighbor. Um, I heard this neighbor was very good to them and very nice to them. Um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am, neighbor, that was very good and very nice to this neighbor. Um, they remember you in a very positive light, I'll tell you that. I heard uh, soon they are about to um, create very positive series of chain of events for this neighbor, their former neighbor, um, because they are very angry because of the injustices that were done in the past. Because they see very clearly now. I heard they did not see clearly in the past. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, of course, you have to plug yourself into the story and situation however you resonate, you guys. Um, for some, you could be the neighbor that's about to create positive series of chain events for the former neighbor. Or you could be um, the, the former neighbor that uh, the other neighbor thinks very highly and positive of. Um, you, you helped out a lot in the past and you were very nice to you have to plug yourself in wherever you fit. But two former neighbors. And whoever these people are, they think highly of each other. They have positive energy in the past towards each other. And the former neighbor sees how their other former neighbor was treated, which was, it sounds like, like trash. Complete trash. Complete trash. That's confirmation. Complete trash. So they're about to stand up for this neighbor in a very positive way. I heard this neighbor was very good to this person. It was very good to them. Um, it sounds like they treat them very respectfully. They were very, um, positive. I mean, there was no, I'm assuming no break-ins here, no theft of property, no busting down windows or breaking in and stealing something, you know, um, no negative energy, like positive neighborly energy, um, in very positive copacetic ways. And it was positive there, but this neighbor sees that their former neighbor that was so good to them in the past. That they were treated like shit, basically. Like shit on a shoe. And I hate to say it like that, but that's just the truth. Like shit on a shoe, and it makes them angry. So, they're about to create a positive series of chain of events for this neighbor. Now, whatever positive series of chain of events they're about to create for this neighbor, I'm not sure. Only this neighbor knows what they're about to do. It's about to be huge. It's about to be huge, is what I just heard. It's about to be huge. So, you plug it in however it resonates. If that resonates, it applies, okay? Victory, number 28, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 28, could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 28, victory. This former neighbor is about to make many phone calls. Many phone calls. 
what they know is huge, 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 and they're about to share it and get on the horn very soon. It's about to make other people angry because the users and the abusers are about to be exposed, but this neighbor doesn't care because they wouldn't appreciate it being done to them. Holy shit. So you plug it in how it resonates. Well, you go with your bad self neighbor. Uh, and that's true. Nobody deserves to be used and abused. That's true. And whoever used and abused your former neighbor, ma'am or sir, they wouldn't appreciate if somebody used and abused them. And that's just the truth. What goes around comes around. Um, and I heard this neighbor, former neighbor, was very good to you. So, there, I mean, this was not a negative energy. But yet somebody took advantage of this person, i.e. the using and abusing. So it sounds like they, the users and the abusers that took advantage of your former neighbor that was so good to you, ma'am or sir, um, they're about to get their negative karma. Because I heard you're about to get on the phone. And so a lot of phone call energy. And it's about, it sounds like it's about to go fast from you, ma'am or sir. And you're about to have victory in this. And I heard you're basically about to speak on all the using and abusing and exploitation and what have you, what have you, that these people, and it sounds like many people, did to your former neighbor. Um, you know how what a good person this former neighbor is because you used to live by them. Um, and it pisses you off. And it would piss me off too because that's not okay. You should never do that to anybody. I heard it's going to piss off the, the users and abusers that you're about to do this. But I heard you don't care. And I wouldn't care either because imagine if somebody, imagine these people, they're about to be pissed off that you're about to do it. They, These people wouldn't appreciate it if other people did it to them. But yet they had no qualms and no, uh, they didn't care. They just went on right on using and abusing this person because they were getting what they wanted, probably monetarily, materialistically. Or, yeah, but I heard you're about to have victory in this. I heard you know something huge, and it's about to affect many users and abusers, I'll tell you that. A lot of these people are addicts. Secret addictions. A lot of these people are addicts and secret addictions. So you plug it in how it resonates, ma'am or sir. Um, so, and, and addicts, they have no qualms about taking, 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 <clears throat> taking, especially money to feed their addictions. Now, I heard many addictions here. It could be drugs, alcohol. It could be gambling. It could be two or two plus. Anything that's toxic and they do too much of it. But probably drugs, alcohol, or partying, or gambling. And huge materialistic items, probably. They're very materialistic people, and that's just the truth. But you don't appreciate your former neighbor being abused and exploited, ma'am or sir. And I don't blame you. Um, you're about to have victory and success in this. I heard, I heard you know something huge, and you're about to share it. And I heard it's going to be bad for these people. You are about to have huge success in this. It's about to go so badly for these people, and it's about to go badly quick. They're already trying to fix their reputation in the community, and it's about to take even more. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates, ma'am or sir, former neighbor of this person. Um, it sounds like, ma'am or sir, this person moved away from you. Um, or you moved away from them. How that resonates. But y'all separated energetic spaces. Whether they moved away from you or you moved away from them. How that resonates. But former neighbor, ma'am or sir. How that resonates. I heard these people already trying to fix their reputation in the community. So they very damaged their reputation by doing this to this person. I feel a lot of people know this. That's what I'm saying. But you personally know this this person. Because you used to live by them or around them or what have you, what have you. And it makes you very angry because nobody deserves to be used and abused. I, absolutely. Um, I feel for some of these people, it might be a per this person's neighbor. Because some reason, you're, you being their former neighbor is significant, is what I'm saying. For some, they may not be. But they have huge addictions, I'll tell you that. They have huge addictions in some shape, form, or fashion. And basically, um, you're about to blow the lid on this popsicle stand, ma'am or sir. With all this information you know. And I heard you're going to be successful. You're going to be victorious. 
And I heard these people are trying to fix their reputations in their community right now. But all this information you're about to display, I feel very publicly, ma'am or sir. And whoever you're about to display it to, I'm not sure. I feel maybe news energy here, news or police or um, news or police or high influential members that can get it out or a committee or a board or what have you, what have you. I heard these people already trying to fix their reputation, but it's about to tank even more. Um, how that resonates and applause. You go with your bad self, ma'am or sir. You're about to have victory. Spirit messages. Okay. Door to spirit. Action. Yeah. You can't make this crap up if you wanted to. Action. Action coming. Number 32 or 17 can be very significant numbers in one's life. 32 or 17. We have door to spirit with action. You're about to take action here, sir, ma'am. Verbally, on the phone, on the horn. You are about to get this information out. You don't appreciate your neighbor, former neighbor that you, it sounds like respect and really like, and y'all got along very well. I'm sure when there was no break-ins, no theft, no, um, um, no crazy behavior there. Um, you know they were taken advantage of, and you don't appreciate that. You are a highly spiritual person too. You've already you've already gotten a huge download that's very significant to you in this situation. You're about to get another one and you are about to make a huge phone call. Many of them. It's about to help this person out in a huge way and you will get high honor for this. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates, ma'am or sir. Heard you're a highly spiritual person. Now, you'd be spiritual and religious or just spiritual. So, however that resonates and applies for you, sir or ma'am. But you're highly spiritual. Maybe this person, your former neighbor is highly spiritual, whether they're spiritual and religious or just spiritual. But you're definitely very spiritual, sir or ma'am. And I heard basically you're about to make many phone calls soon. I heard it's going to benefit you and your former neighbor. Um, and you're about to take great action here. Whatever you know, it's huge. I'll tell you that. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates, sir, ma'am. Some of these people... These users and abusers, they're about to get their house broken into soon. They're about to have very significant items stolen. Expensive items stolen. And one of these people's alarm system is about to be disabled, permanently disabled. And cameras will not catch it. Oh my God, that these are criminal activities over here. Um, these people sound like they're wealthy. I'll tell you that. They're wealthy, but I heard they're users and abusers and they have a lot of addictions. I think they um, use this person as a money pool to build themselves up is what I think. That's exactly what I think. But I think this person knows this or they're about to find it out. I heard they have like huge information, huge ass information. Whoever you are, sir, ma'am, spiritual person. And you can be spiritual and religious or just spiritual. Um, just saying. Um, but um, but if you didn't know this, sir, ma'am, former neighbor of this person, all these people that basically use and abuse your former neighbor, they're addicts. Drugs, alcohol, materialistic, gambling, what have you, what have you. But I think they used your former neighbor as a financial drain to get themselves up and pull this person down financially, but to get themselves up financially. But I feel 
If that is the case, you probably know this or you're about to find it out. That's intuitively what I feel. That you plug it in, how it resonates. But how that resonates, these people are definitely have money. They definitely have money and they're very wealthy. And it sounds like there's many of them. But I heard these people, one of them, a security system is about to be disabled soon. So one, at least one has a security system. Um, and it's about to be disabled. And I heard no cameras will pick up this, the, the, the disabling of the security system. So whoever is about to disable this security system, I think has been casing their house or visits their house or has been over to their house or has been watching their home. Somehow they know the ins and outs of where their security system is, is what I'm trying to say. That's one person over here. For others, they're about to have very expensive items about to be stolen from their home. And that was a double deuces confirmation for very expensive. So you're not wealthy and you don't accumulate. I mean, you don't have very expensive, wealthy things, nice things. I mean, obviously they're wealthy is what I'm trying to say. They're very nice items. <coughs> they're about to be stolen. That's terrible. They're about to be stolen from people that would have never expected. For one, it's a maid. A new maid. For one, it's a lover. For one, it's a teacher. A teacher? Damn. They're about to be stolen from people they would have never expected. For one, it's a maid. So, obviously, you are wealthy if you have a maid. Just saying, just saying. For one, it is um, a lover. A lover of theirs. And for one, it is a... Um, a teacher um i don't know why a teacher feels the need to steal um <laughs> they're obviously have a steady income coming in but damn so you i mean teachers can make more than nurses sometimes and that's just the truth trust me i've been a nurse a long time there's teachers out here in my city school system that makes more than i did working full time out in my community and that's just the truth Really all depends on where you work and if you tra uh, travel, if you're community nursing. I mean, it depends. But I know teachers can make more than nurses because some of the teachers at my son's uh, public school made more than I did. Full time. And that is the just damn truth. And that's sad. But that is the truth. And I love teachers. But nurses, us as nurses, we matter a hell of a lot more too, just like teachers do. But yet, there was teachers making a hell of a lot more than I was. And I was just like, what the hell? Love you, teachers. But I mean, that's just true. But teachers always complain they don't make enough. Well, what about the nurses don't get enough? And that's just true. Everybody needs to hear that. But anyway, so um, I heard teachers. It's a teacher about to steal. It's a lover about to steal. And it's a, um, a maid. A new maid, apparently. So... Wealthy people, but they used your former neighbor neighbor to get themselves up financially, is what I feel. Catapult themselves up. That's some sick shit. But you're about to take some action, sir, ma'am. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. And one of these people is about to have a very significant get together soon. Won a party. And it is about to fall apart in a huge way. And Okay, these people are coming in strong. And one of these significant people, many households over here, one, they're about to have a significant get-together, and one, they're about to have a significant party. So I'm feeling maybe like a rager party or, a, I don't know, swinger party, some kind of party. And I heard it's going to fall apart in a huge way. So I don't know if it falls apart before the people get there or... There are so many immature people that come to the get-together or the um, party that it falls apart literally in the home, like furniture falling apart or a hole in the wall or some shit. I mean, it really all depends on the ages of these people and the image and the maturity level and what have you, what have you. But some kind of falling apart energy. I wouldn't want no 
crazy ass folks up in my house putting holes in my walls and that's just the truth rager bangers whatever the hell that is And someone's former landlord through many series of shame events, they're about to be indicted for Section 8 voucher fraud. They're about to be shot. And they're about to bring down a very low vibrational Libra when this happens. Oh my God. Okay. And somebody, so this could be your former landlord, sir, ma'am, that's about to get on the horn. Or the former neighbor's former landlord or both of your former landlords. You plug it in how it resonates. Only you know if you've rented in the past or what have you, what have you. And some kind of, sec or if you're on Section 8, how that resonates. I've never been on Section 8, but I know a lot of people have, and I don't judge. I know um, it's very useful and helpful for a lot of people. Uh, I've never been on it, but I know some people have been. But anyway, sir, ma'am, how that resonates, um, somebody's former landlord, whether it's your former landlord, your former neighbor's former landlord, or you're both former landlord, or one of these people's former landlord, which don't sound like they need Section 8, just saying. Uh, they use this person. Um, but somebody's former landlord is about to be, I heard, indicted soon for Section 8 voucher fraud. Uh, maybe for some, maybe for your son, Sarah, ma'am, you're about to help your felt former landlord get indicted for Section 8 uh, voucher fraud. Possibly. For some, maybe not. Only you know your situation and story. But somebody's about to take some action because they know somebody's former landlord. Uh, somebody's former landlord was participating in Section 8 voucher fraud. I'm just being for real. And we have heavy neighbor energy and former neighbor energy in here. So I feel for some it could have been y'all's former uh, former landlord or current landlord or what have you, what have you. Only you know if you rent. Only you know if you have a mortgage. Only you know if you've ever been on Section 8 or not. I never have, but I know some people have. You plug it in, how it resonates. But heavy Section 8 voucher fraud in here, and I heard one, it's a masculine energy about to be indicted. I heard he. But I heard once he gets indicted, um, he's about to bring down a very low vibrational Libra feminine with him. So whoever the low vibrational Libra fem is, he's going to bring down once he gets indicted. It doesn't sound like he's going to narc on her or bring her down with him until it happens but it sounds like once he is indicted for the section 8 voucher fraud he will bring her down he will quack like a damn duck but it doesn't sound like he's going to quack like a duck until he gets indicted uh, according to the spiritual downloads you plug it in how it resonates all right i love you guys so much everybody have a good day and namaste